I was just really exhausted and tired of the way I was living, so I had uh, went and picked up uh, some dope from my guy, that uh, my supplier or whatever. I had about an ounce of black, which is heroin, and uh, about a half pound of uh, crystal methamphetamines, which is ice or crystal wet, whatever you want to call it. And I just looked around at my position in life and was not too content with it. So I, uh, so I was like, well, I'm going to make this up. And you know, everybody was sick, so I decided to give everybody their own uh, portion to use. And then I took a, about a half a gram to three quarters of a gram and, and cleaned it up out of, out of a, pull, pulled it through a syringe after I cooked it or whatever. And then I had the girl hit me. And uh, as soon as she hit me, I uh, went to go hand my buddy Squealy his shots and I couldn't even manage to lift them up or to hand them to him because they kept dropping out of my hands. I do remember my buddy Shay coming out the room and he, he was like he's socking me and uh, slamming me up and down against the wall on the couch and on the couch trying to get me to wake up and I can remember him screaming you know you fucking idiots, his, his lips are purple and you guys are worried about where his dope and where his money's at. And so they tried to Narcan me. There's one kind of Narcan that comes in a, like a, a dispenser that has like a timer on it and you like hit it wherever and it has a bunch of needles that it pushes into the skin and then it like injects it and tells you to say like one, two, three, four, five, and then to release or whatever. Me with that and it didn't quite work so they it hit me with another one in the leg, I think it was in the leg, with a liquid kind, and then one into the nose. I had cold water going on me in the shower, and then I started coming to, and then short, shortly but surely the Narcan kicked in. And I think that if it wasn't for the Narcan, I probably wouldn't have been alive today. Yeah, I would keep Narcan around for the reasons, the purposes of the fact that I ain't gonna dump somebody off in an alley. I'm not gonna allow them to to OD because they made a mistake or because they have a disease that can't, they can't control. They think they can. They always want to be like in control, but they never are. So that's why I keep Narcan around. I can't lose another friend.